Well, I'm not gonna complain. Uh-huh. So tell me more about Rio. What else did I miss? Oh, man, the place is a mess. I mean, too many Covenant Asylum Seekers. All pinned up. Yeah, DeMarco said it was crazy. Well, it could have been worse. I mean, look what happened to New Phoenix. We even caught this one Sangili freak. Try to detonate a Havoc nuke. Oh, yeah, give it a rest. We all know you were on the other side of town when they caught that hinge head. Yeah? And where were you, DeMarco? Well, that's it to me. We were just making sure the ladies of Rio de Janeiro felt safe and secure. That's right. Just fire team majestic doing a little community outreach, man. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you had people in you, Phoenix, didn't you? I did. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. It's all right. I'll get over it. Hey, Thor. Just take a look at this. There she is, man. Infinity. Majestic. Yeah, that's us. Welcome aboard, Spartans. I'm Roland, Ship's AI, at your service. On the line, Spartans. Someone will be along to show you around shortly. All right, Majestic, form up. Oh, take a look. saw her first. <clears throat> Hi there. Well, hello, Spartan. Paul DeMarco. I lead Fireteam Majestic. Wow. A whole fire team, huh? <clears throat> uh, I didn't catch your name? Sarah Palmer. Commander Sarah Palmer. I lead all the fire teams aboard Infinity. <clears throat> Fireteam Majestic, Commander on deck! <laughs> At ease, Spartans. Follow me. S deck is this way. <laughs> Shut it. Attention, all hands. Trevor, slip space jump. This is the latest SIGINT on Covenant fleet locations, Captain. Pretty standard positioning, really. Commander Palmer. Things get boring in Spartan Town? Captain Lasky. You know I come up here for my peace and quiet. I'm not interrupting nap time, am I? On the contrary. Show starts at 0500. We've waited six months. We could spend another 48 hours running the teams through the war games. Navy disagrees with Spartans on this one. They want you ready. Now. Ladies and other Spartans, listen up. Your new workplace is a planet first discovered by humanity six months ago called Requiem. Some of the old hands here know what you're in for. The rest of you, you're due an education. Upstairs want to set up research bases. But before they can do that, we need to fend off some Covenant squatters. The Coveys. They believe this is the home of one of their gods. The way I see it, if those freaks want to meet God, it's our duty to help them along. Clear of slip space, Captain Lasky. Lieutenant Austin. 
Word is given. Drop some vessels on my mark. Mark. Sub vessel dropping in. Transmitting targeting data to all computers. Covenant is deployed to saw attack plan. Pay attention to the fire. All Spartan fire teams are pressed and ready for launch. Sub vessel. Requiem corridor is clear. Repeat. Requiem corridor is clear. Please, please. Majestic one on approach. Hang on. We're going inside. Here we go, Majestic. What the hell are we flying into? Got the turbulence. Good job, people. Almost there. Supposed to have been cleared already. That was the idea. Yeah. These things just pop up wherever they want to, don't they? I mean, how is that even fair, huh? Batson, look out! To Hoya. Hoya happened to Hoya. He followed orders. He'd be fine. Armor Bay's waiting, team leader. Commander Palmer. What's that? Crimson team scored the first grab. Whatever it is, it's got the eggheads all tingling. <laughs> What's happening? Multiple decks reporting loss of power, sir. Trying to source it now. Get the engine room on the line. Aye, aye, sir. Dr. Glassman, Infinity's losing power. So I've noticed, Captain. Ah! Artificial gravity is offline as well. Sir! We're being pulled towards the planet. I need answers. You take engines built by aliens 100,000 years ago, and hire a war criminal to bolt them onto the ship. Ugh. You can't expect predictable behavior. Roland, what is this damn thing? Unknown, Spartan. Attempts at physical persuasion haven't had much effect. Damn thing's stuck fast. She's all yours, Doc. Dr. Glassman! Oh. Oh. Captain! Top! Captain Lasky, the captain of Aladdin requests permission to bring the prisoner aboard. Last chance to change your mind. It's too late for that, Sarah. We need to know what's going on. She was locked up for a reason. Permission granted, Roland. Dr. Halsey, 
Thank you for coming. I'm not walking around the ship I built with my hands cuffed. Show me the artifact. Rather dark for a proper investigation. We have random fluctuations all over the ship, Doctor. Power's still completely out at ground zero. I'll get additional lighting set up ASAP. That would be good. Have there been any other reactions since... Since what happened to Dr. Glassman? No. I see. Careful. I'm not Henry Glassman, Captain. Trust me, Doctor. I know who you are. Yes. And I see you've decided I rate three of the new model. Captain Lasky asked for the best. And yet... What is it, Doctor? Engine room. Why do they have us guarding some old lady? She's bad news, man. Mad science and stuff. She created the original Spartans. Master Chief? No way. Yeah. Yeah, story goes, she kidnapped a bunch of kids. What? What would an old lady like her do with kids? First, we taught them how to be silent. Then we taught them how to be Spartans. Roland? Engine room's on lockdown, Captain. All systems operating nominally. You know, Captain, I can't fly Infinity without human aid. Don't worry, Roland. We'll take her off your hands again shortly. And now we're letting the war criminal touch things. I could type for her, if that'd make you feel better. It would help. She installed these engines. No one in the UNSC understands them as well as she does. Hey! The artifact, Forerunner, is talking to your engines, also Forerunner. But it is also communicating with these other systems as well. Some systems, some electrical, lower deck life support. Only the engines are forerunner tech. The rest is human. Indeed. But the artifact is reaching out to them. And it and your engines are transmitting... To Requiem. You came here to study the planet. Instead, something on the planet is studying you. Set the dragon lady anyway? I'm just curious, that's all. Whatever, man. Have fun. Dr. Halsey? Spartan Thorn, I'll be your escort for the day. You knock, at least. Most people don't. Looks like we better get you to work. Doctor, I understand you worked with the original Spartans. I'm afraid it's all still quite classified. But the original Spartans were conscripted as children. I did what was required. But why children? Why do you think? Well, it could have given them an edge, starting that young, not knowing anything else. There were many reasons behind the choices we had to make. Psychological and physiological. Psychological? 
So you don't think we're capable of being Spartans? Perhaps some of you are closer than others. If you'll excuse me, please. Roland, bring up REQ-153-N. I presume you'd like to start it before the tragedy. Please, Roland. Castle team just got hit running supplies into Copernicus. Copernicus. A science base. Looking for the librarian AI that Master Chief encountered? Instead, they found something else. Jewel Amdama. Yeah. Because Requiem wasn't messed up enough. So, oh, Mr. Thorne, what interest is my research to you, specifically? I enlisted with the Spartans because... I was in the army a year before my family and friends were killed at New Phoenix. I always thought the Spartans were special. And maybe I could have saved them. And does it help you, help your grief, being here on Requiem, shooting at, what do they call them, Prometheans? Doctor? Prometheus stole fire from the gods and gave it to humanity. I'm simply curious what gifts, if any, the Promethean life forms have to offer. They're forerunner robots. Hard light and battle armor, ruthless, brutal. What can they offer us? Nothing but trouble, Doctor. They're simply killing machines. Interesting. Dr. Halsey. Quiet, please. I'm working. Come on. Glass Luna Udo. Love, uh, I keep telling you people I don't speak Sengali. Progress. Uh, I've got to have better equipment. More materials. You're, you're giving me two sticks to rub together here, technologically speaking. Ah! Oh, okay, okay. Uh, no need for a translation there. You're saying there's an actual living forerunner inside of this thing? Huh. I wonder what she could tell us. Librarian. Nina Darakua. Tahui. Crimson has the situation on the ground covered, Majestic. Get that package off Galileo base and back to Infinity pronto. So now we're Crimson's delivery service? How come we never get the interesting jobs? With me, Hoya. <laughs> Moving out. Run! Get the cover! Just had to open your big mouth again, Madsen. We're not dead yet, Grant. <laughs> yet? Regroup! On me! Ah! Thorn! Madsen! Move it! Anti-air's down! Yes, Thorn, I noticed. All right, Spartans. We're packing up this picnic. Everybody, get to the Pelican. Let's move! Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. If we try to fly, we're dead. Hoya. Yeah? Take this. Prep for liftoff. I've got an idea. Uh, Thorn, get back here! That's an order! We've got this. Just go! Taking a reading. Oh my. Doctor. A moment, please. Intriguing. Doc, this thing looks kind of familiar. Yes, it's very similar to an AI matrix. But we expected that. Ah! 
Dr. Holsey! Roland, freeze all monitors! Pictures? Civilian life. Maybe a colony or something. Not pictures. Memories. An alien AI full of human memories. That's New Phoenix. I grew up there. No. Well, that can't be right. You knew this, didn't you, Captain Lasky? The UNSC is aware that Prometheans are ancient humans. That is not ancient. That is the attack on Earth from six months ago. You knew. This is impossible. I, I have no idea how the hell these memories got from Earth to here. Thorn! What is it, Doctor? In fact, we have misunderstood the artifact's true purpose. And that is? I'm working on it. It's amusing to see you not have the answer to everything, for once. Enough has been kept from me. I've decided to start questioning all my prior assumptions. Doctor, this is as much a surprise to us as it is to you. I suspect that's a lie, Captain. <laughs> Life is too short. I will never learn all that exists in our own tiny galaxy, let alone the rest of the universe. And I so desperately want to know everything. But the UNSC acts like children at play in a sandbox, mistaking its edges for the limits of the world. I bet they keep you in something a lot smaller than a sandbox from now on, Catherine. Why? I shared no information. The intelligence already knew my name, my task, and offered data that might advance our research by years. This is a research mission, after all. Even if you treat it like a live fire war game. Commander Palmer. Roland, not now. Actually, a bit of an emergency, Captain. Spartan Thorn has been detected alive on Requiem. sure what I've done. Spartan 
させてのわすみな、いたのか。カレアウサ。ゲーク、リキア一世。セラコン、ドイナとアカボのトゥミタワイタシカ。Dr. Glassman, thanks for the rescue. Can I ask you a question, Doc? What were you hoping to achieve with your little subterfuge? I mean, Captain Lasky put a lot of faith in you. Yes, his hospitality speaks wonders. Come on, Doc. What has keeping secrets ever really gained you? What is hidden can be useful. Such as? Such as the phrase, undid iridium. Un undid, did, undid, did, undid. UNSCAI override instructions active, Dr. Catherine Halsey. Roland, tell the guards outside that Captain Lasky has requested my presence in his ready room. Then block all further communications. Yes. Captain has to see you, Doctor. Have a seat, Doctor. Thank you, gentlemen. You may go. Roland, give me full access to this terminal. Yes, Dr. Catherine Halsey. The Didax hand. If people would just share things with me, I could solve all the world's problems. Send everything the UNSC has on the librarian to my data pad. Yes, Dr. Catherine Halsey. This is all my own research. I need new information. Anything that has been kept from me. Only one data point exists that is not your own research. Debriefing of Master Chief Petty Officer Spartan 117, post New Phoenix incident. John? Roland, prep a pelican for immediate launch. And patch this terminal into the comm systems infiltrated by the artifact. Doc, whatever you did to me! Yes, Dr. Catherine Halsey. Jewel Emdama. Guy, I'm Catherine Halsey. We have played your game quite long enough. And we are both out of time. In our previous conversation, you mentioned assistance. <laughs> Ooh, but the Didax hand 
could offer me a Promethean soul. What we both want, Jewel. Librarian. A powerful name for me as well as you. Librarian was very fond of humans. Did you know that? That was a dirty trick, Doc. My turn now. Stay right where you are, Doctor. Dr. Halsey, I've underestimated you long enough. A cryotube should hold you until- oh. John's alive. He was here, on this ship. Nobody told me he was alive. They're everywhere! Hold the line! Nothing gets back! Commander Palmer, report! Oh. Oh. Not a busy, Captain! They're facing to the artifact! Don't worry, we'll keep them contained in the hangar! Too late! They're here too! Uh, uh, Holding! Uh, Come on, Doctor! Uh, uh, Captain Lasky to all hands! Battle stations! This is not a drill! Lasky! Thorn! I'm not a Spartan. I gotta have some rest. Please. Why are we walking anyway? Isn't your armor all full of comm gear? Used to be. <laughs> How much further? Galileo base is two, maybe three clicks that way. Another couple hours and we'll be home. Dr. Glassman, get to safety! Huh? Uh, is it? Captain, the Promethean! Keep moving, Doctor! Found him, Roland. Dr. Halsey, too. Still alive? For now. Was there some concern? Maybe a little. Absolutely everywhere for you. <laughs> Lieutenant James, take us out of orbit. Move us far enough away from Requiem that those things can't get on board. Controls aren't responding, Captain. Infinity's locked in position. Captain, look here. The artifact is acting as a slip space anchor, holding us in place. Slip space isn't physical. It can't there hold. There's still a great many things we don't know about slip space. You, quiet. You were supposed to fix this whole thing days ago. I'm sorry, Captain. Damn it! It was a smash and grab. They came here just for her. Some of these tags belong to Spartans. With my thanks. <laughs> oh. Nice. Watch this. <laughs> you guys are getting all the cool stuff. Ah. 
Ah. What's this? Oh, great. I got a map. <clears throat> Captain Lasky? Admiral Osman. You've seen the report on Dr. Halsey? I was advised to keep Catherine in the darkest, deepest hole I could find. Or have her removed from the equation entirely. Regrettably, I chose to do neither. So, Captain, today I shall follow my predecessor's advice. You are hereby ordered to eliminate Dr. Catherine Elizabeth Halsey. I think it is power you seek. Knowledge is power. Glassman did this? Zoena. I wouldn't be so sure. The protective shield is emanating from the structure itself. And if I'm right... Access requires a more human touch. <laughs> She's only out here because of me. I mean, we're soldiers, not hitmen. Halsey knew what she was doing when she made friends with the bad guys. I'm serious. We, we shouldn't have to execute a civilian. No, but it has to be done. And I don't trust anyone else to do it right. There has to be another way. I, I mean... I know what you mean, Tom. And I won't see you court-martialed over that woman. Sarah, stand down. Orders are orders, Tom. This isn't my first rodeo. I don't suppose it is. Roland, where's Fireteam Majestic right now? I have a personal favor to ask. Dr. Halsey has been abducted. Welcome. You... You are librarian. Wife of Didact. There is a Covenant cultist leader outside. He thinks you have something valuable. And he is correct. But what I have is not for him. It is for you. Catherine Halsey. Go get the old lady. This is the Janus Key. It offers the real-time location of every piece of Forerunner technology in the galaxy. Every piece? We did not create so much without a means to catalog it all. This was meant for my husband to help your people. 
and whose meditation was complete. Take this key to the absolute record. Use what you find to propel humankind. Why give this to me? Requiem's time is at an end. The key, and what it details, must not be lost. doing here captain lasky sent us to rescue dr halsey rescue her she's a traitor all due respect commander if she was on julian dama's side then why was she so sure i needed to get this before he could The projection device that Majestic found shows two more artifacts down on Requiem, just like the one in our hangar. Now, they are the Requiem end of a slip space conduit, which is physically connecting Infinity to Requiem. If we can deactivate them, Infinity should be free to move. Commander Palmer, we're sending down the necessary deactivation codes. Majestic and I will take care of the first artifact. Roland, send Fireteam Crimson the second set of coordinates. You got it, Commander. Commander! Oh, hell. Battle stations! Captain! They're not attacking. They're entering slip space. This can't be good. Oh, we're moving! Captain, it's not us that's moving. It's Requiem. The artifact conduits... They're pulling Infinity with it. Straight into the sun. If we have to find those artifacts before Infinity can leave... Then let's get moving, Spartans. How's it going on Requiem? It's getting awful warm out here. Crimson got their score. Ours is proving slightly more difficult. Anybody tell these goons their buddies left them behind? Majestic, move up! Coming through! Fire in the hole! Sword, here it is! On it! Almost there. Let's move it, Majestic. Move up! Artifacts offline. Let's get out of here. Dr. Glassman? 
It's off the floor, Captain. Try now, Lieutenant James. It's working. We're free. Sarah, pour on whatever extra speed you got. We gotta leave now. We're almost home. Crimson are dead ahead, Commander. Punch it. Hands aboard. LT, get us the hell out of here. Aye, sir. Emergency jump complete, Captain. Injuries reported on multiple decks, but no major casualties. Captain Lasky to all crew. We made it. Good work, everyone. You sent them to stop me. I sent them to rescue Dr. Halsey. You see a difference? Doctor, what have you got? Well, the, the first test showed that it is inert. But, <laughs> this part's really weird. <laughs> On a molecular level, it's incomplete. It just, it makes no sense. It's like, it's like we're only seeing half of it. That was before I knew my compatriots were a hit squad, not a rescue team. Not that I've fared much better in your care. No, The UNSC just tried to execute me. So you'll need to offer something other than idle threats if you want me to help you. That's easy, Jewel. I want revenge. <laughs> 